What is going on guys, welcome to the video. And in today's video, we're gonna do a full day of eating, and by the thumbnail you can probably see, we're gonna do a vegan full day of eating. I'm gonna give it a shot, my best shot, and see how it goes, see how I enjoy it. See if we can hit our macros. The protein one is probably the one I'm thinking is gonna be the hardest, and also I'm thinking it's gonna be quite a high fat day. For breakfast, we've got one New York Bagel Company plain bagel, half an avocado, half a lime squeezed on top and some chili flakes and then in here we've got about 200 ml of almond milk and a blueberry no way box protein so we give that a go this I think is going to be dirty but it smells pretty blueberry It's not too bad. It doesn't taste too bad, to be fair. Get that sort of little bit of blueberry undertones. But it just tastes kind of chalky. It just tastes bitty. I don't know. It's not bitty, but it just tastes, yeah, it just tastes kind of different. It doesn't taste as sweet or creamy or milky. It just tastes a little bit different. But, you know, it's not too bad, all in all. I'll put the macros of today's meal on the screen over here somewhere or whatever. Just want to say as well, I haven't got anything against vegans or going vegan. It's just the vegans that push it upon you and think that you're a bad human for not being vegan. Those are the sorts of people that I don't like, but you know, everyone's got their own lifestyle, everyone's got their own life decisions, so if you want to do it, then you do you, sister. But we'll see how it goes. I just think, from what I've seen, it's just a lot of effort, a lot of ag. It's so much harder eating out, but I'll just do what I want, so see how it goes. We've got a big day today. This whole week I've done a caffeine cleanse because I got to that stage where I was taking like a full scoop of MV Pre and it wasn't really having an effect on me. So, had a whole week off of caffeine, which sucked, but today we're going in. We've got legs and I've got a brand new product that I can't wait to show you guys and I'm so excited to try it. So, we'll eat this and I'll show you that. So, the bagel and avocado is actually really, really nice. It went down a bit too easy. Still a little bit hungry, so just having a little Granny Smith apple. This one's tiny, so. I'll add that macros into the original macros. So this is what we've got. We've got the new Ghost Christian Guzman pre-workout. And the panel on that is absolutely amazing. If you pause the screen, you'll see it. That is for a two scoop serving. Um, but obviously if you only have a one scoop serving, then there's 40 servings in the whole tub. I think first time using it, I'm just gonna try one scoop. See how it goes. But look at that. It's fooled right to the brim. You never get that with any products. Give this a go on camera. And Show ya. Give it a few flicks with a, sp with a spoon. That's nice. That's really nice. Very lemon and limey, not very sour at all. Ah, very smooth, just like the old one. Peng a uh, leng. So we're gonna go smash some legs now. We'll see you at the gym. Hello, good evening, welcome to a commentary. So in today's workout we were training some legs, hamstring, glutes sort of focused. Kicking things off with the good old barbell back squat. Rihanna doing her warm up sets here. So I did all my warm up sets, didn't record any of those. This is my first working set, 125 key. And it's, I moved the weight up from last time. Last time I did 120 key for three sets of eight. So I thought, let's push up the weight, see what I can do. It was heavy, not gonna be not gonna lie, it was quite hard. Managed to do 125 for one set of six and then two sets of four on the same weight. Um yeah, but yeah, no, very, very nice, very happy with what I got. And hopefully next time we can try and bump those two fours up, possibly to three sets of six, or maybe two sets of six, one set of four or five. 
always just trying to, even if you can only get one extra rep, it's, progress is still progress. And then we moved on to a back offset, which I did at 90 kilo for 12 reps. Uh, I always like to do a back offset on the end of sort of like a heavy compound just to kind of get different rep ranges and just to work the muscle in a different sort of hypervitory matter. Next exercise we moved on to after the back off was an RDL. This again was another pushed up number improvement. I think this time, last time I did three sets 95 key, but it went like 12, 10, 10. This time I managed to get three sets of 12, which was really good. Really happy with that. Next time I will try 100 key, drop the reps down to about 8, and then just gradually work back up to 10 to 12. Prone leg curl, supersetted with the hip thrust machine. This was an absolute killer. I moved the weight up on the prone leg curl, so improving on that as well. And then that hip thrust machine, I just banged out about 14 reps. Two sets on both of that. Finished off with some calf raises, which I didn't record. And yeah, all in all, it was a really, really good workout. The pre-workout was good. The ghost it had a good, good, good sustained energy. I didn't crash or any come down sort of effect at the end of it. Um, the tingles weren't out of control, the focus was good, but I'm going to try a, over a few more workouts and then I'll give a give my sort of two cents on it. But this whole day of eating, looking back on it, obviously there's things that I could have done. I could have prepared all my meals myself rather than buying, you know, like the Wicked Kitchen pre-packed kit, um, lunch thing and those, those bean burgers. I could have done something else if I had like a bit more time, but... I just thought, why not, let's just try it, do it off the cusp, and see how it goes, but yeah, on my honest review, it, it, everything was a bit sort of meh, I, like I said, I got a bit bloated, but that could have been down to other variables, but you know, I'm not going to knock it, uh, it's just something that I'm not really into, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video, drop the video a like, help your boy out, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the video. Just got back from the gym. Very, very good session actually. Pre-workout was good, I had a nice burst of energy, nice bit of focus, got some little tingles on the way to the gym, but I won't review it yet and give my opinion just because I like to try it a few times because just to see what it's like over a couple of times of using it. But no, really good session. Absolutely pooped. The gym was really, really hot today. Like I've said in the previous videos, because it's like a little container, an old warehouse, so it's like a greenhouse. It, the upstairs gets really, really hot. But absolutely starving now. Need some post-workout food inside me. So I picked this up from Tesco's. Wicked Kitchen Barbecue Butternut Mac. Looks for, you know, fairly good for a non-vegan trying it out. I don't know how to cook this, do I do? Sling it in the microwave? Yeah, microwave. Let's see what it's like. It's out of the microwave, moment of choice, moment of choice. You're a fucking radar. Moment of truth. So what it's got in it, it's got macaroni, um, some sort of vegan cheesy sauce, red cabbage, beans, mushrooms. That's the thing I'm not looking forward to. I don't like mushrooms, so. I mean, it's all right. I don't really know where the butternut squash is. Maybe the butternut squash is mashed. Yeah, it's grinded up in the cheesy stuff. I mean, it, it, they're quite expensive for what they are, I think. That's, that would have been four pounds normally for one little meal. I'll sink this and we'll catch you up in a bit. See what we get up for the rest of the day. But I've got a few more meals planned, so. Stay I'll see you. Stay tuned. Stay tuned indeed. It's absolutely scorching today. It's well over 20 degrees. Having a little snack, vegan magnum with almonds on, I think. This, I don't mind. These are these are all right, you know. Vegan ice cream is actually not that bad. You can't really taste the difference. It's just not as creamy. We're going to go for a little walk. going to go get a Starbucks. These glasses are on the ski with. Get a coffee. Rihanna just had a nap. She got pooped from leg day. Yeah, and we're going to go enjoy the sun. And then I've got some candy kittens as well. I'll show you them later. But they're awesome as well. I'd definitely recommend going getting them. We'll catch up with you in a bit. It's a long time coming for this nice weather. It's absolutely scorching today. It's like middle of June and we haven't had any sort of sun or any niceness, but yeah. Here we are. First day of many, hopefully. 
So we're going to go Starbucks and get a coffee just to wake ourselves up. We're going out tonight celebrating my birthday. My birthday was on Thursday. So there's a group of us going out to town for some drinks to celebrate celebratory drinkies. So that should be, should be good fun. We need that caffeine now. And for cold brew latte with almond milk. I'll find the macros online and I'll get them for you. It's like nice and cool and refreshing though. So. Cheers to that. Yeah. Proper good. Gelatine free, vegan free, everything free. They're good. 108 gram pack. I'll have those. Let's try this burger. It ain't bad. It doesn't taste like a burger, but it just tastes like. Ah, oh, it's weird. It tastes almost like like cold ham, the teddy bear meat. It tastes like that, but even though it's not ham, it's just weird, isn't it? It tastes like something. It's not too bad. We get a job done for today. Macros will be on the screen. Update on the food. So I just finished the two burgers with the cheese. Had a slice of tomato on each one. Half a bag of those sweet potato fries. A little bit of ketchup. I checked that it was vegan. So. I feel really, really bloated. The, the the burger didn't taste too good. It was it was okay. Yeah, it's bearable. With all the food I've had really today, it's all bearable. Apart from the ice cream, that ice cream was actually nice. Everything else has just been kind of meh. But I feel really bloated, and I feel like I've been for about three shits today, and I need to go again. So I don't know if this stuff's going straight through me, but I just feel pretty bloated and heavy from all the fibre and the vegetables that I'm having. Mm. Ain't too bad. Final meal of the day. One pot of Greek style mango all pro vegan yogurt. I will put this today's finishing calories macros on the screen. And that has fulfilled. Fulfilled? That will conclude. Mm, I thought I was going to say. And that will conclude today's full day of eating. Good night, see you tomorrow. Oh, good morning guys. Welcome to day two of the video. So last night we went out for some drinks with everyone and yeah, it was a really, really good night. I'm not feeling too bad this morning actually. It is like midday right now, so. Rhiannon's feeling a bit bad. She was a bit, bit on the ill side last night, but oh well, we had a good time. It was a fun night. I did plan ahead. For feeling a little bit on the rougher side. So yesterday I went to Lidl, bought four of the best cookies in the world. Had one of those already this morning. Had a big bowl of cocoa pops with some protein. Gonna have a banana, might have a barocco just to get those minerals and vitamins in. And we're just about to go to the shop. Need to get some bits for the week and just chill out for the rest of the day really. Recommend drinking a lot of water on the day after. Obviously, I, The reason I don't feel too bad is because on the night out I drank a couple of glasses of water before we left to come home so it's always the best thing to do just drink as much water as you can just to try and dilute it all down and hydrate yourself and that's why most people have a really bad hangover is because they don't drink as much water so that's what I will be doing drinking lots of water So had that smoothie earlier on in the day which had some milk in it, half a banana, a few frozen raspberries, the other, the vegan protein powder and the vegan yogurt. It was actually quite nice actually like that smoothie, that sorted me right out. And then we got all got Domino's in the evening for dinner just because you know that's the best hangover cure isn't it, a nice bit of greasy pizza. Goes down a treat. So I'm going to wrap the video up here. All in all, the vegan day, it wasn't too bad. All the food was a little bit bland, a little bit, yeah, you know what I mean? It's just kind of like, 
if you're a vegan, why would you want to eat like a burger substitute or a chicken substitute? I don't know. I just find it a bit weird. Um, nothing against people that do it. You know, power to you. But it wasn't for me. Like I said, my, I felt really, really bloated all day. Really, it just didn't go down well. And but oh well. But yeah, it just wasn't for me. Smash the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new here. And I'll definitely see you next week, people. So peace out.